Hello family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner along with my good friend Paolo and today it is Tuesday September the 6th so it is time for vlog timber 6 and uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be getting done today but I do need to go to town to get animal food at our local farm and home so I thought I would take you along for that. I need to run by my apartment and check on my apartment and pick up my mail so I thought I would take you along for that and uh, and then when we get back this afternoon I would really like to be able to uh, transplant some succulents so those are my goals for today and uh, we'll just see how much we get done right Paolo all right so come on along and let's start vlog timber number six I'm on the right day today guys Tuesday, September 6th. All right, here we go. You gonna walk with me out to the truck, Paulo? Huh? We go get the truck, because I'm getting animal food today. Yep. Okay, friends, so for this vlog timber number six, I am headed into Monroe City to the local farm and home store to pick up animal food and uh, to go by and check my apartment. So I thought I would take you along for the ride and I might show you a little bit of the countryside as we go. So um, let's get going on down the road. Alright, so if we went that way, it would go up to the highway. I took you that way the other day. We are going to go this way because we're going to go down the back roads. I could go to the highway and go to Monroe City, but I like to use the back roads. So, as you can see, we have corn, lots of corn in this area. some beans. Those are soybeans over there. A lot of deer in this area right here. In the evenings you have to really be careful to watch for deer because we have bean field and then we have this wooded area and you can't see it but we're going to go over it right now but there's like a little stream over there so they also have a water source. So bean fields, plenty of coverage, and a water source. Perfect environment for deer. We do have a train track coming up. More corn. <laughs> but I'd much rather look at corn than cars. Okay? So we're going to stop. We're going to make sure... Ooh, that kind of scared me there for a minute. They're working on the track. I thought that was a train. I was like, I never hit a train this time of the day. <laughs> but they're they're hitting. They're uh, working on the track down there. Okay, and I never hit a train any time of the day. What I meant was, is there's usually not a train passing this time of the day. Okay, so yeah, lots of corn through here. We are known as the Corn Belt in the United States. Missouri is part of the Corn Belt and this is the reason why because we grow corn and the farmers will alternate though one year will be corn the next year will be beans or they'll do what that farmer did and put in part corn and part beans um, but yeah see I just love the back the back roads um, whole lot better than that highway. Had to turn me off for a second to let a neighbor pass. Looks like they're going to be doing some work. Alright, so all we're going to see from here to the highway is cornfields. Alright, and I think you get the idea. So, I will talk to you guys later. 
Okay, so we're almost to the highway, but I always like, and I missed it, there's a view when you're coming down that has the corn in the front and those grain elevators in the back, and it's really a pretty view. But that's a great big uh, farmer's elevator over there that, you know, takes in corn and beans from the local farmers to sell it. Okay, we are just about to uh, J, Highway J. And this is a busy little highway because we have, um, you know, grain trucks all the time. And then this is a road. This road goes down to the Mark Twain Lake. So it's like a tourist road. So um, even though it's not really a major highway, I still have to be really careful on it because of all the tourists. Um, and then, the, like I said, the grain trucks. Um, but pretty soon, we just go down this little Highway J for like maybe a mile. And then we're going to turn onto Highway W. Monroe City is only four miles. So I don't know, it's like maybe, I don't know. I'll have to ask John or I'll have to get on Google and see. Maybe about four miles to the highway and then four more miles. So this way is maybe eight miles to get to town. All right, I'm not going to tape on W here because this is a little bit of a healy, narrow road. So Monroe City is a very small rural town. Um, I think the population is almost 2,000. I'll have to go look. But um, it's farmers. It's surrounded by farmers and they farm right up to the edge of town. <laughs> so that down there is a uh, highway can't remember. Isn't that terrible? 24, I think. Yeah, Highway 24 that goes through Monroe City. All right, so we're at the end of W here, and that is Highway 24 there, and we're going to turn right. headed into town now. And now we're going to cross another set of railroad tracks here. There used to be a Catholic school that sat there next to that gym and they tore it down and built a new Catholic school, but they still use the gym. Okay, so then here is my road. And we're going to turn left here. As you can see, there is the Senior Housing South Garden over there. I'll take you over there and show it to you in a little bit. But first we're going to park right here. Because this is my apartment right there. All right, let me get parked. All right, friends, so this is my apartment. And you can see I've done a little bit of work on this front garden. Still have a lot more to do that I want to do. But I did fill it in with more dirt. See, it used to be only as wide as what the wood chips come out, and I've 
was given permission to widen it. So I'm working on that and I had to put in some more filler dirt there. You can hear the children over there at the new Catholic school. Yep, must be recess time. All right, so let's go check my apartment. I got Mr. Frog down there. I had been wanting that frog. I kept seeing it at um, Lowe's. And I was like, but where would I put him? So one day I was working on this area where my water spout's at. And I went, oh, I just found the perfect spot for Mr. Frog. <laughs> and these are handprints that my daughter had done for me one year for Mother's Day of the grandkids' handprints. All right, let's go in. All right, everything looks fine. Everything looks normal. Check the back bedroom real quick. Check the refrigerator, make sure it's still running. Yep. No water leaks. Lights are still working. Check the bedroom. I just washed my bed clothes, so that's why my bed is stripped. Okay, bathroom looks fine. All right, so my apartment is still in good shape. All right. Here's a painting I started. I need to finish it sometime. This is the picture my brother took, and that's the painting I'm trying to do of it. Alright guys, apartment looks good. We got things to do, so let's move on. Let's walk over and look at the um, south garden real quick. Wow, they're going to have to mow sometime. Okay, um, you know what? It's a good thing we came over here because I don't think I've told you guys about this part yet. So you've seen the videos where I did the first three railroad ties there. And then down here I had put in just the shrubs. One, two, three shrubs. Well, I was able to come back later in, Ju in June um, and finish this here down here. Um, I didn't videotape it because I knew I already had a lot of video about putting in this garden area. And it's just a repeat of what I had done here. Because I want the eye to continue all the way down. So I basically have the same plantings going on. They're just repeated. So this bed down here, except for the sedum, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. This bed down here is just a repeat. Okay, with the roses and the daylilies. But um, a back resident has some sedum that she needed dug up and divided. So she told me if I would dig it up and divide it for her that we could put it up here. So that's what I did. And look, it's starting to bloom out. Isn't it pretty? All right, I do see a weed I need to get. And then uh, we also went ahead and gathered up enough money to put in three small bushes down here but as you can see we have a lot more work to do my plan is to lay down cardboard and wood chips and just leave it set through the winter and the next spring make this a new project area so you you have to do with what your money allows <laughs> and right now we are at a standstill with the money but cardboard and wood chips will not be that hard to come up with hi Sarah is there any way I could get this planted? Sure, I can do that today. You care if I videotape you a little bit? No. Okay. Yes, I will do that today. Where would you like it? You want it down? You want it in this gar in this one, or you want me to put it here? Put it there would be fine. Okay. All right, because we do need to develop that. Uh, I'm going to put down cardboard, add some soil, mulch it, and then next spring we'll be able to put in a lot more flowers. 
So but should I uh, just leave this out here? Or? Yeah, yeah, you can just leave it there and I'll put it in before I leave. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted it the nutrition center. Oh, did you? Yeah. Now I will I will tell you though, Sarah, that sometimes it's hard to transplant moms and have them come up again in the spring. And the reason for that is because the roots have not had enough time to adjust to the soil in winter. Like they haven't had enough time to build up their roots to get through the winter. Okay. Well but, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna be mad if they don't turn okay. out. Okay. But it'll be a good try. I mean, yeah. we'll try it. And one thing I can do, too, is uh, maybe cover them, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to forewarn you that even though I have a little bit of a green thumb. I don't have a green thumb. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think you've told us that. That's why you gave us permission to do this. So anyway. All right. Well, I will get those in for you. Thanks. Okay, friends. So I did get Sarah's mom planted, but when I was looking at the pot that they came in um, it does say it's an annual so I doubt it will come up again in the spring but at least you'll have them for fall interest and uh, the tops are a little droopy because I just sprayed them but it has a lot more buds coming on so it'll at least add, add some fall interest to this area for, for this year I know that this down here looks terrible but trust me, once I get the cardboard and some soil and the wood chips, it will look much better. Um, Manor, the Monroe City Manor, because I have a really good friend that's in there and I want to go visit her for lunch. So that's where I'm headed next. Okay, so I'm going to take the long way around to the Manor because I want to show you why this is my granddaughter's favorite road to go down. Well, first of all, there's the Holy Rosary School over there in the KC building. And this is a little Baptist church here. But my, my granddaughter's favorite reason for going down this road are the horses. And a lot of times they're up right by the fence. See, there's some back there in the back. She loves the horses. I bet they're not going to be up here by the fence today, are they? Oh, that's too bad. Let me see if I can get stopped, though. So these guys over here have like six horses. And my granddaughter loves horses. And I do, too. I used to ride horses. Anyway, so she loves it when we come down this road. But they're down in the back pasture this, this morning or this afternoon it's about noon so yeah so okay let's go on down but these people own this whole block down here back to the tree line and past the tree line even and uh, they have like I said about six horses see there's one down there by that hay bale and my granddaughter just loves them all right to the manor long way around <laughs> all right so as I was driving by I saw the farmers elevator here with the dark clouds in the back and I just thought it was a cool shot of Monroe to show part of Monroe City here so taking this side road here is that cool we have an elevator right in the middle of our town Farmer's Elevator and Exchange, the main office, right here in the middle of town. Alright, we're going to go on through. We're going to go on down and hit Main Street, which is what I was going to do. I was going to turn around at my apartment because my apartment's set on Main Street, but I really wanted to show you the horses. And now I'm showing you the grain elevators just to show you how rural. Monroe City is. It's a very cute, rural little town. I just love it. That farmer's elevator takes up about, I don't know, 
four, five blocks. There's our water tower over there. There's our Ben Franklin, and this is Main Street, so I need to turn you off for just a minute so I can get on to Main Street. Alright, so now we're on Main Street, and I want to show you this mural that they just recently did. Isn't that cool? The guy did that like in two days. It was amazing. <laughs> I come up and watch him. Alright, so this is like the north end of Main Street. There's church. Here's the city hall. Police station. This part over here is where they hold the Monroe City Fall Festival. It's like a whole block that's just dedicated to park and the tower. All right, I got people behind me going, what is she doing? <laughs> There's our post office. Yeah, I'm trying to get up here to the four-way stop. The only four-way stop. No, I take that back. The second four-way stop in Monroe City. We have another one down at the other end. But that's the main four we stop there. The other one at the other end is as we go out of town and you'll see it too. Alright, I'm going to turn you off on this part and turn you back on when we get to the manor. No, I'm not. I want to show you the schools. Alright, so there is the Monroe City Public Schools. And there is the new additions that they just added this year. It's really nice. Nice and big now. Of course, they're doing a lot more, you know, landscaping yet, but. Yep. I'll try to leave you guys on if I can. There's the Monroe City Family Restaurant. Best place to eat in town. It's almost like a country kitchen. There's our subway, my favorite place to eat. The Lions Club Fields where they play baseball. Our swimming pool's over there. We have a Casey's, our doctor's office. We had a doctor's office on Main Street too. We actually have two doctor's offices. One's on Main Street and then here's the other one. if you're going to live in a rural farm town, you got to have your implement store. There's all the implements. And there's the garage that fixes all the trucks and cars and tractors. And then right down here is the manor. Yeah, I was going to turn you guys off, but I just wanted to show you town. Because it's so small and rural. Alright, we got to wait for traffic. Alright, and then here is the Monroe City Manor, our senior housing, our senior citizen um, residential care facility. And this is where my 90, soon to be 97 year old friend stays. And I gotta go in and see her. Her birthday's in the month of September too. I'm gonna go down here and park. Okay friends, so I, I will not film inside. But since I'm doing these daily vlogs, I just wanted to show you that this is part of my weekly um, agenda is to visit my friend Rusty, who's soon going to be 97. I try to come see her at least once a week. So 
sometimes twice, but at least once a week. And uh, today's Tuesday, and today's my visit day, so we're going to go in and say hello. I just had to show you guys this. Isn't that neat? This is like their social lounge. I'm told that they're all outside because they have a festival going on today. So they're having a festival outside for them. So let's go check it out. All right, so I came out to the festival to see Rusty. And I got to see Nathan. And what's your wife's name again? Sharon. 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 Sorry, Sharon. Oh, not at all. Nathan and Sharon are here visiting Rusty today. So I won't be staying too long because I don't want to interrupt your visit. But I wanted to come by and say hello because it's our birthday month. Yep. I just celebrated 61, and you're going to celebrate 97. What? Like in, Happy birthday. Thank you. On the 16th? Yes. On the 16th. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. Yeah. But anyway, since it was our birthday month, I just wanted to stop in and say hello real quick. So, all right. Is it is it nice to have Nathan here and Sharon here visiting? Yes, I know. Family's very important to you. So we'll give a shout out to Phil because this is Phil's Phil's youngest. I know the whole Adam family. You're just like another set of family to me. <laughs> All right. Okay, friends, so I just had an awesome visit with my friend, and uh, I was allowed to film her for a few minutes, so I went ahead and did that for you guys. And uh, her grandson, Nathan, was there to visit with his uh, wife, Sharon. Uh, I've known Nathan ever since he was a little boy, but um, I, that's the first time I met Sharon, so that was really nice. And uh, so now it's time to head over to the farm store and if you look ahead you're going to see our only uh, shopping center <laughs> in town all right but we have to get out onto the highway to get over there okay so that down there was our only four-way stop because this is a three-way stop <laughs> this Pizza Hut. That used to be our Pizza Hut until they closed down. Now it's another restaurant. We do have a Chinese buffet here in Monroe City, which is, I understand is really good. I don't eat Chinese. We also have a Mexican restaurant here in Monroe City, and it's really good. Dos Primos. I think it means two cousins. Both of my daughters worked there as waitresses when they were in high school. So I've eaten there before. All right, here's our CNR market. That's where I get some of our food once in a while. This is where I get our sausage. So I might have to go in there to grab some sausage. Anyway, and then here is the farm and home down here at this end. Orschlands. Orschlands Farm and Home. My favorite, one of my favorite places here in Monroe City. This is where I got all my t-shirts. All right, let's get parked. Okay, friends, so I have all of the animal food. Now let's go check out some other areas. This 
is where I got all those wonderful t-shirts. But I may have found something. And it is on sale. Don't you just love that color? That black with the pink. Soft flannel. Okay, friends, so I hadn't planned on buying any more clothes, but since I saw this flannel shirt and I tried it on, I really like it. I'm getting it in an extra large so I can use it for layering. And also it's flannel, so if there's a little bit of shrinkage, it'll allow for that too. I have a little bit of birthday money left, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this flannel shirt because I really like the colors of it. All right, let's go. Thumbs up, yay. Love it. Look at that hat, guys. It would not be one I would wear, but it's kind of cool. It's the American flag. All right, so let's get going. All right, you know what? I'm going to look at gloves because our project today is going to be transplanting cactuses. And even though I don't normally wear gloves, I might need some gloves for the cactus. So I need a pair that is like poke proof. <laughs> something like rubbery. Yeah, something like that. Or if I get poked, it's not going to go through. I think those will work. Right. Here's some canning things. I don't really have anything else to look at, but I'm going to look at their canning supplies because I'm going to be canning soon. So I want to see what they have in stock just in case I need something. Or here's a canning set if you guys ever need a canning set see it has the funnel the head measure with the debubbler um, oh this one has tongs in it this is your magnet jar grabber I like this jar grabber better but anyway yeah so Check out your local farm and home if you need a canning set. I'm looking for lids though. I want to see if they have any lids. Okay, so I just asked and they said that they have run out of jarred lids and jar rings. But they think CNR next door has some. So we'll have to check them out. Not today though. Well, actually, if I go in to get the sausage, I might check it out. All right, let's get out of here before I find anything else. <laughs> Over here's the ladybug. Oh, I don't really like the ladybug. How much are you, ladybug? I would use her at the apartment. She would look really cute in my metal tub. Ooh, and they're on sale. <laughs> but it's me. Okay, friends, the ladybug is going home it's with me because I've got the perfect place for her and she's on sale <laughs> at a good price. All right, and then we're stopping, okay? All right, I'm, like I said, I'm just browsing. All right, so there's my shopping haul. Three bags of animal food, a flannel shirt, my gardening gloves, and this ladybug. If I didn't have a place for the ladybug, I wouldn't have picked her up. But since I know exactly where I want to put her, I went ahead and got her. Alright, I have animal food. So now it's time for some people food. <laughs> oh, and they don't have what I like. So maybe that's a sign that I don't need it. Oh, nope, sorry, they do. They do have them. 
And I always get two bags because John really likes these too. Yeah, All right. Okay, friends. I have this bag loaded. Now we have to go load those bags. Y'all down for a minute. Okay, friends, got it done. This 46 pound bag though pushed my limit, but I have dog food, poultry food, cat food. Time to head home. All right, we are headed home and we have come all the way through town and now I'll show you the back road that I take. Um, I don't go through town again. I just keep making a circle. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, we need to stop in here at CNR. <sighs> Too, but we need to. Alright, so they have a small candy section here. I do not need rings, but I am going to get some lids. And they have quite a few lids. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple boxes and see. Mm, no, maybe I'm going to get about four. in each so that's 48 let's see I do I used them to do about 12 jars of salsa 12 tomatoes I don't know how much corn we'll get but I think 12 will be enough and I'll have an extra box just in case all right and we can always come and get more if we need more Okay, and I also decided to get one box of the regular mouth um, because I think I'm going to try to make what's called corn cob jelly. So, all right, there we go. All right. Okay, and so there's the sausage I need. Yeah, so that was a fun trip in because I ran into my daughter and my grandson. <laughs> and of course we had to stop and visit for a little bit. Okay, but now I'm getting ready to head home. And we will have made a complete round trip because we came in from the east we went down the south part of town, then we came north, through town, around the town, and now we're getting ready to head east again. And I'm going to take you through another back road, but instead of taking you down W, we're not going to go south again. We're going to stay up here on this end of town, and we're going to go down the old highway. So this used to be the old highway going into town until they put in the new uh, bypass. So, but the old highway will run out down here and then we'll take a back gravel road. Okay friends, so we're at the end of our road trip for the day. I hope you enjoyed the little trip.
the truck up here because I have to unload the food. You could give me a hand, you know. Yes. We should tell my friends. If you guys see Paolo limping, um, last year when he had his trouble and I had to take him up to the vet, it was determined that he had been bit by a tick and had um, animal Lyme disease. He almost died. I almost lost him this time last year from animal Lyme disease because of a tick. And even though she was able to get him back to a regular health, she says that it will continue to affect his joints once in a while. And he doesn't do it all the time, but every once in a while I will see him limping and know that he has a sore joint. Yes, I know. Mama has a sore joint sometimes too. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, I hope you get the camera better. I hope that joint straightens up. Yeah. I know, because you're such a good dog. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. You gonna help me put these away, huh? So, um, I had to go with the meow mix. And I don't usually like to, um change my animals foods because if you stick with the same food there's not as likely to get sick so I'll just kind of keep an eye on squirm and if she gets sick with this brand then I'll go ahead and make a special trip to Hannibal to find the Purina Paula, do you think I'm going to get my plants done today? Huh? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my plants done today either. I know. After the trip to town and visiting with Rusty and visiting with my daughter and getting all the food and unloading all the food, it's, it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, family and friends, so I think I'm going to call this it for this Vlog Timber 6 video. Um, because I know it's already going to be long. <laughs> I did a lot of traveling around today, taking you with me, and, um, and then the day just got long. Um, 
you know, my goal is to go to town, buy animal food, come home. Well, it didn't happen that way. I went to town, I went to my apartment first, ended up talking to two neighbors for probably close to an hour, put in a plant, as you saw. So that took longer. Then I went out to visit uh, my friend, Rusty Adam. It was only gonna be there maybe 15, 20 minutes because you know, with her being 97, um, you know, she doesn't visit as long. Well, her grandkids were there. She had a grandson there. So I ended up staying there for close to an hour, talking with them. Then I went on to the feed store and uh, did some shopping, picked up the animal food, saw a friend in the feed store, talked to them for probably close to 20 minutes, uh, went over to CNR, intention was just to run in, grab the sausage and some lids, saw my, <clears throat> saw my daughter and grandson, so I ended up talking to them probably close to a half hour, so there's another hour gone between the friend and the farm and home and the half hour with my daughter and grandson. And um, so yeah, I didn't get back to the farm till like one o'clock. And then I went in and got John some lunch and got me some lunch and uh, watched a World War II documentary with John. And then I came out and unloaded the animal food and thought, okay, well, I'll go. I'll go do my transplants of the plants. <clears throat> but then Paulo, he wanted to play for a little bit, so I played with him. So then I was like, you know what? This video is long enough. <laughs> and I, I do want to transplant my plants, but I want to do it on a day when I can bring you along. And so I know that this video is already long enough. So we're going to do the transplanting of the plants tomorrow, I hope. I never know for sure what each day is going to hold until I get up and get ready for that day. That's the nice thing about being retired, is every day is just kind of a new beginning, a new journey. But I'm hoping that tomorrow I will transplant the indoor plants. Um, I'm not quite ready to work in the garden and not quite ready to do the canning because I want John to um, get a little bit better first, but we're getting there. So anyway, yeah, this is going to be it for this video. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I deserve a thumbs up for just doing six of these so far and <laughs> not forgetting. <laughs> anyway, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, hit that subscribe button to Kilns Country Corner. Be sure and come back tomorrow and see what else we have planned. Right, Paula? Right? Yeah, we got busy days ahead of us, don't we? Alright, bye for now.